Hello everyone and welcome back to CoolCapeTravel.com which is all about fun and informative travel videos. Today I am standing at the Central Cape Town Station minibus taxi rank and you can catch a minibus here to literally anywhere in South Africa. Yes guys, this is the most efficient and cheapest way of getting around in South Africa and today I'm going to show you how to use them. So stick around if you want to see what it's like to ride in one of these minibus taxis and learn all about the do's and don'ts of using this amazing service. Yes ladies and gentlemen, this 90 billion rand industry can trace its roots back all the way to 1938 and it was conceived and developed completely outside of the law. Yes, it was completely illegal to be a black business owner or a black business operator in those days. So these guys took matters into their own hands. As the segregation laws of apartheid pushed poorer people even further out, which meant that they had to travel even further to get to their jobs. The minibus taxi service in South Africa is the most critical pillar in our public transport system, and it is also the most available and the most affordable form of transport. Unfortunately, it has a terrible reputation for sporadic violence breaking out between taxi associations, questionable vehicle maintenance practices, and very loose interpretations of the driving safety laws. Would I take it? Yes, I would. And this is why, out of the 36 people killed every day on our roads, only three of them are killed in taxis. Which makes me think that unsafe and dangerous driving isn't just a taxi problem, it is a South African problem. This Blue Dot Taxi initiative by the Western Cape government fits taxis with trackers and reward good driver behavior and punish the bad ones. This is the only economic sector in South Africa that is completely controlled by black people and represents a successful model for black economic empowerment. By the time the apartheid regime decided to legalize the industry in 1987, it had grown into a behemoth that does not appreciate scrutiny or regulation, which has made any subsequent attempt by a government to intervene and regulate the industry unsuccessful. There are about 200,000 minibus taxi cabs in South Africa that employs 300,000 drivers and about 100,000 taxi marshals. Okay, everybody, we are now heading towards Somerset West. <laughs> and I'm in a very friendly cab. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and this is our friendly driver right here. Hello. Gonna, what is your name? Uh, Ayando. Ayando? Yes. Okay. And uh, could you tell me how long have you been doing this job? Five years. Five years? Yes. Okay. And are you enjoying it? Yes, I do enjoy it. Yeah? Yes. Is, is it great? Uh, what, what part of it do you enjoy the most? Uh, long distance. Long distance? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Why? For long distance, because you get to see the seas, the country. Yes, because I like driving. You like driving? Okay, yeah, that helps if with this job. While filming this episode, we got news that we've just reached 1,000 subscribers at coolcapetravel.com. So thank you very much to all my loyal subscribers who stuck with me from the very beginning. And welcome aboard to all our new subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do so right now to keep up to date with the Cape and to ensure that I make fabulous fun informative travel videos <laughs> about the minibus taxi service that uh, that you, you uh, find difficult? 7 o'clock, when you get to the taxi ranks, there are no more taxis. Oh, right, so okay. 8 o'clock, you understand? Okay. You feel stranded. That means you have to take alternative, taking over, which is more expensive. Okay. And uh, it's, it's so nice to take taxis here because no one crosses the taxi drivers. Because we don't know what they're hiding and what, what, or some bomb or something. <laughs> so we're feeling safe when we can. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, awesome. But, and then we don't feel safe when they're starting to shout at us when they're having a bad day. Just don't even start with them. Okay. Don't even come short with the one run with the taxi drivers because no. they will send you back. No, no, they don't no. tolerate even one run short. No, okay. no. Are there any like uh, do's and don'ts that you would tell a tourist who want to use a car? Only also just the tourists, they can only talk to the taxi driver, not to ask the passengers. Yeah. Because you can, the taxi driver, I'm telling you, they will never rob you. But uh, passengers, you cannot ask where am I gonna get off, where can I get off? Uh, it's all the taxi driver. Just ask the taxi driver whatever, even if you don't know where you're going, ask the taxi driver. Keep on reminding, don't forget I'm going to Somerset where that shop right, whatever. 
whatever way. Yeah. It's safer that way. I would tell the tourists to do that, not to trust the passengers. There is no air conditioning in this bus, ladies and gentlemen, so keep that in mind on a very hot day when you plan your journey. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Cheers. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you, thank you. Hello, hello. Do you enjoy working as a taxi driver? <laughs> Bringing money to your family, yeah. Do you feel, um, as a taxi driver, do you feel that you are safe? Like, uh, uh, how safe is it just to work as a taxi driver? No, well, it's not safe. Yeah. It's, you're saying it's not safe? It's not safe. Yeah. There are only taxi drivers. So yeah. Because we are the ones who are driving the car. You are the ones, the yeah. front line. Not the owners, yeah. So not the owners? Yeah, the owners are at home, so it's us who are here. When they are fighting, it's us, it's us who are Die. Yeah, so you okay. So when there's taxi violence, you are the guys who gets the the and where does it happen mostly the taxi violence? In the location. In the like Kailichan. Yeah, and Langa, okay. Uh so it's hard for you guys because you guys feel like you get if if I, I, I think if they can remove these stickers could dead and cut it would be much safer. Re remove the what? The stickers. The stigma that is being there, called data and culture. Oh. Oh, okay. What, what do they mean? It's the association. Oh, it's not the taxi association. Oh, oh okay. So, uh, I think if they can remove them, it would be much safer. Okay. But people are generally safe in taxis, in minibus taxis. They don't get robbed in anything like that, oh, do they? Okay. okay. Even in taxi ranks, you don't get robbed. Sorry? Even in taxi ranks. It's safe. Okay. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. What happened to your taxi tickets when you get them? Do, who who, who is, is he supposed to pay those uh, traffic fights? It's you and the owner. The driver and the owner. You see? The driver only. So it depends on your relationship with your owner. Yeah, it depends. Okay. Oh. All right. <laughs> Let's be a deal, bro, guys. Let's be a deal, what the hell? Okay, let's just think it now. Let's be a deal, bro, guys. Awesome. <laughs> so you guys, are you are you the mar the taxi marshal or the the tout? Uh, I'm the sliding door operator. The the what? Sliding door operator. Sliding door operator. <laughs> Cape Town? If you can get another job, you can leave it. Why do you say that you don't like it? You don't, not much. Can you what I'm saying why? is that there's a lot of money. Yeah, but... You get paid every day. Yeah. Yeah. It comes you don't make for the month end. Yeah. Uh. Oh, right. Okay, so you, don't, you never feel like you don't, that you don't run out of money. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Get paid every, every day. Okay. Every time you work. Can I ask you, do you ever run a red robot? <laughs> sorry, 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 so how are the passengers, the drivers? Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes. sometimes they what? <laughs> <laughs> 
And tell me, what do you think? Like, I know that some people feel, some people get scared when they drive on the road and the taxi comes close because they, they don't know what the taxi is going to do. What, what do you say to the drivers who feel like sometimes the taxis will drive too fast or they drive unsafe? What would you say to them? Like, it's because you've got, like, um, not a lot of time, you've got a. See, when you are driving in front of a taxi, you should give it the space. Yeah. Keep the space because the space. they are always on the rush. On the rush. Yeah. And also, I think because they carry more people, eh? so they, they have the right of, of the way, I always think. Oh, <laughs> oh I always the right to drive reckless. Like Do you think it's better to just give way when you see a taxi yeah, approaching? Just give way. Just give way, yeah. Okay. Why do you think some of the taxi drivers drive so so fast and dangerous? You see, the, the taxi, the owner, we made the owner once 1,500 to take. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay, so, so it's targets. Yeah. The target that makes them drive the way they are. And if he doesn't make the target, what happens to him? You are owing them. You owe the money? You owe the money. No. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense then. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. okay. So that's yeah. why we have to jump the ropes. Yeah. Yeah. There's many people there. I see there's a van coming behind. You jump the I robot. jump the ropes. You jump the robot? Yeah, to catch those people there. Yeah. Oh, because it's business. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. Okay, I see. And if you don't, like you say, either you owe the money or you lose your job. The big problem now is that the government relies on an informal industry to provide public transport that is supposed to be a formal sector of government provided by the government. So we've got a conflict of interest here. Yeah. Sorry? They are always on time. Always on time. <laughs> time is money. Time is money. Time is money. Time is money. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, what an amazing day. We rode from Milnerton to Cape Town to Somerset West to Cape Town to Sea Point to Cape Town and now we're heading home and I can't tell you how much fun I had and everybody is just so friendly and helpful and never at one point did I feel unsafe. Make sure that you practice good tourism etiquette when you come and visit and use these taxis. Make sure that you are always polite and be sensible as you would be in any city. Always hide your valuables, don't flash your cash and blend in and you will be just fine. Oh, but what, what's happened here now? Oh, we just got pulled over by the police. Oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, you must make sure that you pick the right cab. This one did look a bit dodgy. And now we got pulled over and the cab is being impounded. This is a proper 1980s model, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, make sure you look out for the newer versions with the South African twirly-whirly flag on the side. And a special thanks to my friend Pumza Beauty who made this episode possible. Thank you everybody for joining us today and have a lovely day.